Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to a special bonus episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! While racing my chocobos up to the S-Class there, I thought I'd make a little pit stop over here and show you the new battles that we can fight here at the Battle Square on Disc 2. Now that the Gold Saucer is reopened, we've got Cloud back, and there's some more items that I want to get from here. And, you know, I don't want you guys suffering withdrawal symptoms without an H.C. Bailey episode today. So let's take a look at my setup. Now, I'm going to be using Cloud here. Even though Vincent has... Um, well, he can use Death Blow and Added Cut more effectively. Cloud's stats more than make up for it. Not to mention his limit breaks. I could actually use them. So, let's take a look at what I got for him. I've got Contain, Added Effect. That'll be really useful uh, on occasion because it can inflict Stop or Confuse or Petrify on the enemies. So, I mean, in a one-on-one -on -one battle, that's amazing. Got Death Blow, Added Cut. Why not? I mean, yeah, it'll take more time than just a normal attack, so sometimes I'll still use that, but, you know, at least now you got a chance for a critical hit, and you still get a normal attack, even if you fail. Counter-attack, obviously, long range, keep them in the back row there. Restore, enemy skill, that's everything you need there, so... Now, before I get started, I'm gonna take a small pause break just in case I screw this up, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we're all set and ready to go. What? I, I just want to register for the battle square. Oh, so that's why they reopened the gold saucer. That's awfully nice. I'm going to use Cloud here. So, Oh yeah, I also equipped him with a ribbon. I, I thought that was kind of obvious, but I just neglected to mention that, I guess. And now we re-enter the circle where the brave do not fear the grave. Okay, so, first things first, big guard! I really want that more so for the haste than for the protection on the barriers and stuff. Now, unfortunately, my magic breath, I don't think will work on these guys. I think they absorb it, if I recall correctly. Well, that wasn't very nice. Get him, Cloud! Oh, come on. Can I get an attack in? Yeah, that's what you get. You get stone. Ha! Got the death blow in there. I love getting my enemy stone. Okay, uh, definitely don't want the boots. I think that reduces our speed. Don't want to lose the accessories, so level down. Level down. Oh! Maybe I should just use... Well, I want to cast Regen on myself. Yeah, as long as there's one enemy here, we'll be okay. Oops, hit the wrong button there. Okay, this guy is not susceptible to anything, according to my bestiary, so... Let's use Meteor Rain! Not sure finishing touch would work on this guy. It'd probably deal some damage to him, but whatever. Yeah, Regen is pretty useful, because you don't have to to waste turns uh, healing or your handicaps there. Early rounds, I really don't care about the handicaps. Now, if I recall correctly, these guys are susceptible to gravity. Of course, not, not that it matters anymore, but it's there. And I'm not even going to bother recasting uh, Big Guard. I really don't need it now. One more laser ought to do that. Got it. We'll eventually run into some enemies that we can't even, uh, what is it? We can't even encounter until later on disc two. Eh, whatever. Who are these guys anyway? Ice Golem, huh? I should probably use Magic Breath on them, but... Oh, no, they, they absorb ice. Level 4 Suicide would be more appropriate. Okay, well, if I can get my turn back... Or I can just get these guys stoned. 
Or we could just kill them. Well, I would have used level 4 suicide on them, but, well, I started getting stoned with these guys, so... There we go. Yeah, I... Well, I'd really rather not, but... What's MP do? Half MP. Okay, that's tolerable. I don't want to lose my contained added effect. Who's that guy? Lesselopop, huh? Uh, well, I don't think... You know what? Let's just cast re or recast for John. I could use it. Let's see. Doesn't seem to be weak to much. Yeah, I can't use uh, magic breath on them. Oh well, we'll just stick with the. Uh... Uh oh. Oh right, I'm immune today because I still got my accessory. Or at least I should be. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, this isn't. Uh... Oh, I got him stoned already. Oh, there we go. Now, Snow is susceptible to level 4 suicide, so let's use that. I was going to say, this is in Final Fantasy VI, where they have a charm attack that can get through your peace rings. Of course, on the other hand, I suppose you can get that attack, too, so it's a fair game. No, I am not fascinated with you. Turn the snow to stone, Cloud. Got her. All right. Okay, now we're getting to the last few rounds, so you want to start actually caring about what handicaps you get. For example, Toad and Minnie will give you a lot of battle points for winning the battle, and that's what you want. The first four rounds, they don't really contribute that much to your battle points, so really, get whatever you want and it doesn't matter. Ha! Got him. Uh, breaking Materia is also a good idea, but, you know, be careful about which ones you do. Uh, I guess HP MP. I don't want to lose levels because that hurts my attack. Okay, there we go. I mean, Poison is okay, but, uh-oh. It's a Toneberry. We're not supposed to meet up with that guy for a long time. If only I had... what was it? You know, I might want to cast... Big, oh, I stopped him. Good. <laughs> Maybe a... Uh, what is that thing? Bad Breath would be good on him. Well, as long as I keep getting him stats. I was going to say, level 5 Death would be useful, but he's immune to that. <laughs> This guy just has a lot of HP, and he's immune to uh, gravity, so laser won't do anything on him. I don't think we're supposed to meet up with this guy until the final area of the game. Seems a little odd that they would put a guy so advanced in the battle square like that, but apparently he just melts. Okay, final round. Uh, breaking magic materia will give me more battle points than many, so let's just get it. There we go. Got it. Oh! Uh, uh oh. <laughs> oh, this is Hochi. I was gonna say, I thought that was that uh, Marlboro. Well, he's immune to everything that I would care about, so maybe a white wind would be appropriate. Or not. Okay, come on, hurry up. We're running out of time here. Death blow. This guy doesn't have too much HP, but I would be a little concerned if I don't get some death blows in there. Unless he dies first, that is. Well, that was a little easy. You can meet up with a ghost ship as the final enemy, and he can just remove you from battle randomly. That really pisses me off when that happens. There's no defense against it either. It's just like, oh, no, we just decided to throw you out in the last second, so screw you. Just gives you a big middle finger finger with that paddle of his. Okay, well let's check out what we can get here now that we're on disc two. Specifically, now I want to get Omni Slash. That's Cloud's level four limit break. Uh, we could have gotten it earlier, but I figured, well, why get it so early in the game? And it costed a lot more earlier, so now we want to get that. So I want to take some time to get the battle points for that. And we also eventually want to get W Summon, but I'll wait until much later in the game to get that, or maybe another trip to the Gold Saucer, so 
for now, I'm just going to get Omni Slash between now and next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. I was going to avoid saying next time because it's just a bonus episode, but, well, I'm going to keep go back and keep doing some more racing at the Chocobo Square. So, that's all for this episode. This is HC Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.